Okay, so this um, presentation is about subsets of the complex plane. By the end of this presentation, you should be able to sketch a circle, a line, an array in the complex plane, and you should be able to use the modulus to convert from polar equations into Cartesian the form. When I talk about a subset of the complex plane, what I mean is a graph of part of the Argan plane is called a subset of the complex plane. And the other thing that you need to remember that the modulus of Z is the radial distance from the origin. So what do we mean by that? The modulus of Z, which we use R, is the radial distance X squared plus Y squared. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Sketch the curve in the complex plane described by the modulus of Z equals 1. When we're, this means all of the points which are one unit from the origin. That means a circle with radius 1. So if you think about this, it's actually a circle. Every point on that circle is one unit away from the origin. Let's convert that into Cartesian form and see how, how we can get the Cartesian equation. So we're using r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. So we say the modulus of z equals 1. Now, hang on a minute, jumping a bit too, going a bit too fast. We're saying z is x plus y i equals 1. Now we want to find the modulus of Z. So this is the Cartesian form of Z, X plus YI. Now we want the modulus of that. And the modulus is the square root of X squared plus Y squared. And we're saying that equals 1. Well, let's square both sides. And that gives us X squared plus Y squared equals 1. And hopefully you recognize that as the equation, that's the Cartesian equation of a circle with um, the center of the circle at 0, 0 and a radius equal to 1. Okay, so any, any equation in the form modulus of Z equals something is always going to be a circle. Let's have a look at this one. This one says modulus of Z minus 2 plus I equals 2. Well, we want to sketch it first. Then we want to... Then we want to... Um, then we want to... Um, convert it into Cartesian form. So, first thing... To sketch it, we say, well, Z minus minus 2 minus I equals 2. Why have I put it like that? I've put the, the um, real and imaginary part into brackets and I've said, well, what does that do? Let's check if that makes sense. Minus 2, so that would be plus 2. And that would be minus, and a minus makes a plus, plus 1. How does that help me? Well, that tells me the center of my circle. That tells me that the center of my circle is at x equals 2, y equals minus 1. So there's my circle there. And I, the center of my circle, and I have a radius of 2. And so when I draw this circle, radius of 2, it's going to look something like that. Let's see now that we've drawn the circle, let's see if we can convert that equation into Cartesian form. 
So I go back to my original equation, z minus 2 plus i equals 2, x plus y i minus 2 plus i equals 2. Now I say, well, I'm going to collect the real parts, x minus 2, they're the real parts, and then I'm going to collect the imaginary parts, y plus 1 times i. That just makes it easier. I've collected up the real parts and collected up the imaginary parts. That makes it easier for me to do my x minus 2 all squared plus y plus 1 all squared equals 2. Square both sides. x minus 2 all squared plus y plus 1 all squared equals 4. And that is the Cartesian equation for a circle. And it's telling me this is a circle. The center of my circle is going to be at plus 2 and minus 1. And this tells me that the radius equals 2. Okay, this one's slightly different. This one says the modulus of z minus i equals the modulus of z plus 2. Well, what does that tell me? If I want to sketch this, this is a, a modulus equals a modulus. Always gives me a straight line. So modulus equals a modulus is going to give me a straight line. And where is my straight line going to be? Well, I look at this point here. There's minus um, z minus i. And there's z minus 2. Let's convert it into Cartesian. I'll s actually, I'll, we'll look at it first. Here's um, z minus i means I'm looking at plus i. And there's z plus 2 is minus 2. And I think I'm going to draw a line, which is a dot a line between those two points, and I want the perpendicular bisector. So my line is equal distance, perpendicular bisector of those two points. And every point on this line is equal distance from those two points. Every point on the line is equal distance from those two points. Let's do that in Cartesian, see if we can come up with the same line. So z minus i equals z plus 2. That's x plus y i minus i equals x plus y i plus 2. Collect up the real parts, x and the imaginary parts is y minus 1 i. In this case, the real part is x plus 2. The imaginary part is y i. Let's take the modulus of both sides. x squared plus y minus 1 squared equals x plus 2 squared plus y squared. Notice when you take the modulus, the i disappears. Square both sides, I get x squared plus y minus 1 squared equals x plus 2 squared plus y squared. Let's expand the brackets. x squared plus y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals x squared plus Two, uh, sorry, 4x plus 4 plus y squared. Now we can cancel out. What do you notice? x squared cancels with x squared. y squared cancels with y squared. 
I'm left with minus 2y plus 1 equals 4x plus 4. Let's take one from both sides. Minus 2y equals 4x plus 3. Divide both sides by 2, uh, by minus 2. y equals minus 2, minus 3 on 2. So there is our Cartesian equation of that straight line. It has a gradient of minus 2 and it has a y-intercept of minus 3, and a, uh, 3 on 2 which is pretty much where we thought it was going to be anyway. So you can sketch the graph without converting to Cartesian but sometimes it helps to convert to Cartesian. Okay, here's a different type of graph again. This one says argz equals pi and 3. What does this give me? This gives me a ray. When I say a ray, what's the difference between a ray and a line? A line goes in both directions continuously. A ray has a starting point and just goes in one direction. So this particular arg z equals pi and 3 I start here with my real x and my imaginary y coordinate this one starts at the origin so it starts at the origin and it just goes with an angle to the positive x-axis of pi on 3 so there's a sketch of argument of z equals pi on 3 now, this one says argument of z plus 1 minus i equals pi and 3. Well, this is a ray. It just has a different starting point. So this is telling me the starting point. So let's rewrite it as I want the arg of z minus minus 1 plus i. Remember when I expand the brackets out, it has to it has to come back to what I started with. So how does that work? Here's my argand plane, got my real x, got my imaginary y. This time I'm starting at x equals minus one, y equals i, which is up here somewhere and I draw a little line which is parallel I dot a little line parallel to the positive direction of the x-axis and I'm going at pi on 3 degrees parallel uh, from the line which is parallel to the positive direction of the x-axis and that point there is minus 1 plus i Okay, so our success criteria is are you able to draw a draw a circle, a line and a ray on an argand plane? And then the next criteria is, are you able to use the modulus to convert from polar form to Cartesian form? So if you can do all of that, then this presentation has been successful. And